This channel is proudly sponsored by Detri Studios, the publishers and developers of the Ames of Astoria, a tabletop RPG where you play as monster girls, experiencing high adventure in a world that doesn't fully accept them. They have recently released the Whispers of Copper Ridge Adventure module. You will find all of the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring Monster Wrangler, the core rulebook. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, featuring this tabletop RPG where you race, train and fight alongside your monsters, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about effect durations and status effects. Some effects last a certain number of rounds. For the purposes of tracking these effects, a single round is considered to be the time from when a character creates the effect to the end of their next turn. If an effect is not created by a character, the Game Master can simply choose a point in the initiative order to serve as the effect's turn for purposes of tracking its duration. When a character receives a second instance of an effect, it replaces any previously existing instance of that effect. The exception to this rule is status effects. If a character gains a second instance of the same status effect, the values of both status effects are added together to form a single status effect. Some abilities and techniques can create an independent effect, such as a cloud or an area of slippery ice or goo. Considering this, if two or more of the same effects overlap the same space, the original effect is overridden in places where the effects overlap. Concerning status effects, they are used to represent situations that are temporarily hindering a character, such as a bleeding wound, a strong poison that is coursing through their veins, or even just being stuck to something. Each status effect has an associated value, which is listed as stunned X or pinned X in the chart of this section. The X in this case is just a variable. When a character gains a status effect during the game, that status effect will have an actual number such as stunned 4 or pinned 2. If status effects of the same type overlap, then they add together, that is their values add together. For example, if you have stunned 2 and you get stunned 3, it will end up being stunned 5. When it comes to recovery rolls, characters that are suffering from a status effect can attempt to recuperate by making a recovery roll. They are typically made in one of two ways, either during the recovery attempt step of a character's turn or as the result of taking the recover action. There are several status effects covering all sorts of circumstances and situations, such as bleeding, blinded, poison, sickened. You may be wondering what the values of the different effects mean. In case you are blinded 3, for example, to make a recovery roll, the character chooses one of their status effects and makes an attribute roll, using the attribute listed in the status effects description. Each success reduces the value of the status effect by 1. If this reduces the value of the status effect to 0 or lower, then the status effect ends. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about other related things, such as conditions. So it's all pretty clear. Even if there are various status effects happening at the same time, they either overlap or they add together, depending on the situation. Thank you for watching this part of the review. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel through PayPal or the Red for RPG, the information will be in the description and in the pinned comment. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. If you want me to run a game for you, please check out the pinned comment as well. And remember, it is better to roleplay and fail in character than not to roleplay and fail as a player. Once again, thank you and see you later.